Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to install and configure Microsoft Defender for Identity Sensors. Well, these are the basic outline steps that we have to follow to install and configure the sensor. We have to plan the capacity wherein we'll determine how many Microsoft Defender for Identity Centers sensors we need. We'll download the Microsoft Defender for Identity Sensors at a package. We'll install the Microsoft Defender for Identity Sensor. And then you have to configure the Microsoft Defender for Identity Sensor settings. To plan the capacity for Microsoft Defender for Identity, there are some things that you need to keep in consideration. You can use the sizing tool, uh, the recommended and simplest way to determine capacity for your Defender for Identity deployment is to use the Defender for Identity sizing tool. If you are unable to use the tool, you can manually gather traffic information from the Domain Controller Traffic Estimator, which is also explained in Microsoft documentation. So there is a try sizing tool that is available from Microsoft, which is your Defender for Identity sizing tool. When the tool finishes running, you it open up the excel file results in the excel file we can locate and select the azure atp summary sheet wherein we can locate the busy packets per second field in the azure atp sensor table in the results excel file and make a note of it you will have to match the busy packets per second field to the packets per second field in the defender for identity sensor table then you have to calculate the CPU and RAM capacity uh, to the sensor's own consumption and then note the dynamic memory allocation, domain controller, traffic estimation through performance monitor on the domain controller you have to enable the data collector sets and then you have to gather those data collector sets and uh, to enable the performance counters. And after that, you will have to download the Microsoft uh, Sensor Setup Package and then you have to install it. You have to download the copy of Defender for Identity Sensor Setup Package and the access keys. Make sure Microsoft.NET Framework 4.7 or later is installed on the machine. For sensor installations on ADFS servers, you have to check ADFS prerequisites as well. You can perform the following steps on the domain controller or the ADFS server. Mention, please make sure that uh, the machine has connectivity to Defender for Identity cloud service endpoints. Make sure that you enable the access to Defender for Identity service URLs in the proxy server to do the proxy configuration and then you will have to run the Azure ATP sensor setup file as an administrator and on the welcome page after that you have to follow the on-screen instructions to install and configure the sensor. Make sure that the installation path, the location where the Defender for Identity sensor is installed, you can set Go ahead with the default path or you can leave the default value. And for the access keys, you will have to retrieve it from the Microsoft 365 Defender portal. You can also do the Defender for Identity Sensor Silent installation. Using Defender for Identity Silent installation, the installer is configured to automatically restart the server at the end of the installation if it is necessary. Make sure to run silent installation only during a maintenance window because of a Windows installer bug. The no, re the no restart flag cannot be reliably used to make sure the service server does not restart. So plan it accordingly or within your maintenance window. And when you have to configure the Microsoft Defender for Identity settings, what you will do is you will log on to the portal. So let me show you the portal. Again, I'm on the Microsoft 365 Defender portal. I will click on settings. I will go. I'm sorry, I have to re login. I'll go under identities. Select the sensors page, which displays all of the I Defender for Identity sensors. I have, I do not have a sensor. So from here, you download the installer. 
which we discussed few minutes ago. This is the access key. If you want to regenerate it, you can regenerate it from here. So if you will download the installer and install it, and when you will install it on uh, the server, for each sensor, you will see the name, domain membership, the version number, if updates should be deployed or delayed, the service status, sensor health, health status, the number of health issues, or when the sensor was created. Okay, all this information and uh, you can select filters. You can choose which filters will be available. Then with each filter, you can choose which sensors to display. If you select one of the sensors, a pan, a pan will display with information about the sensor and its health status. And you can specifically manage each and every sensor. If you select on manage sensor. And then you can enter the settings which will show you the description. You It will show you the domain controllers. FQDN which is required for the Defender for Identity Standalone and ADFS sensors. You will have to enter the complete FQDN of your domain controller. And select the plus sign to add it to the list. If you want to export the list of your sensors, it can be done through the sensor page. You see this export option. If I would have a list of sensors here, you can click on export and it will export the list. If you want to validate the installation, see it is still exporting though it is blank. So you will see I have a CSV file, but when I'll open it, it will be blank because you can see I don't have any sensors configured or installed on any of the servers. This is my lab. Yeah, we'll, we'll, still, op we'll still open the Excel. All right. So you can validate the installations. Uh, check that the service name Azure Advanced Threat Protection Sensor is running. After you save the Defender for Identity Server settings, it might take a few settings for the service to start. So every time you make a change on the settings on the Defender portal, there is an Azure Advanced Threat Protection ser Sensor service which is running on the server on which you have installed and configured the sensor. Right. So give it a few seconds to start. As soon as you make changes, do not expect that service to start in real time. Give it a few seconds or few minutes. And if the service does not start, review the uh, the log file, which will be there on the uh, program files under program files. And you can uh, load down the steps from the Microsoft documentation when it comes to troubleshooting. That is how you uh, you uh, you def you install, configure, and manage these vendor for identity sensors. And this is the file that you see is blank, but you will get this information when I mean, you would have actually sensors installed on your environment and you'll see them on the portal. So I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.